It is Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank, here in the voice of Indiana County, WCCS. And yesterday, the big announcement about Urban, Urban Outfitters, its subsidiary, and all of the excitement that generated. So I had a chance, I asked Representative Dave Reed what Urban coming here means to Indiana County. Urban Outfitters coming to Indiana County with a 880,000 square foot facility, which is actually three or four times as big as the Grell building, really represents a, a new beginning for our community. For years, we've watched uh, major manufacturers have to move out of this area, shutter their doors. And for the first time in my generation, we're actually seeing a major employer move to Indiana County. And I just, I think it, it just represents a brighter future for the community and the county as a whole. Now, how did the relationship develop that ended with them choosing to come to Indiana? And then how did that process unfold? Really from a couple different uh, perspectives. Uh, first, I started uh, negotiating with Urban Outfitters about six years ago. Uh, we, we did a number of legislative changes to help, their ex- help them expand their operations in Philadelphia and in Lancaster. And that legislation ended up um, leading to where we are today with the development, about $30 million here in Indiana County. And then the business park itself, locally, I was part of, Senator White was part of the initial startup money for the county to purchase that land to build the business park, uh, bringing in the transportation dollars to get the transportation network, the roadways ready uh, at that intersection to be able to attract urban outfitters to the community. The additional dollars f- to expand the electricity, the water and the sewage to that business park. You know, these things take time. Uh, they take years to develop, to align them correctly, because in today's day and age, you're not you're not going to you're not going to sell a, a piece of property to a major employer like this that has the potential to bring in over 500 jobs to our community uh, by not having the land ready, by not having the business park ready. And I know sometimes, you know, folks will get frustrated to see those dollars going in and not to see any development happen. Uh, but I know for both Senator White and myself, in conjunction uh, with Governor Wolf. Uh, to be able to bring those dollars over the last couple of years to get this site ready for uh, this announcement. You know, it takes time, um, probably a little bit longer than many of us would like, uh, but I think it's going to be far more worthwhile than we could ever imagine. What do you think will be the future implications of urban coming to Indiana County? I think you're going to see uh, a quite a bit of development occur. When they've done these sort of locations elsewhere, you you generally see a business park that maybe has one or two tenants uh, fill up fairly quickly. And you're not just talking about, you know, manufacturing or logistics and distribution. You know, you're talking about all the ancillary items that come with it when you're, you're actually moving people to a community to run a facility like this. You're hiring more local folks uh, to work within that facility with actual family sustaining wages. You also see the retail, you see the restaurants and those sort of things uh, come along with it. And, you know, just in the short term, uh, they estimate, you know, over 600 construction jobs are going to be needed to build this facility. And I know just yesterday when the actual closing occurred, the contractor was actually in Indiana County interviewing subcontractors here locally to help do a great deal of that work. So I think you're going to see not just this company come to our community, they're going to use local folks to help build that facility within the region. And then they are already, you know, have had conversations with other folks who may have an interest in following in their footsteps to Indiana County. I think it's just a very, very exciting prospect. And what does it mean for you as you leave the state house to cap your legislative career with this major announcement? You know, for me, I, I first ran for the state house because my family had experienced unemployment a couple of times when I was a kid. And my dad ended up being one of the last folks on the way out the door when FMC closed down. And I've watched too many of my friends from high school or college have to leave the community for economic opportunity. And, you know, we've made strides over the years, but we've never had that that big moment where you can point to it and say, we've turned the corner, we brought a major employer in, you, we were bringing in a major development, and this project represents that moment. So for me, I, I can leave office uh, with with peace in my heart and peace in my mind that I did what I set out to do 16 years ago to help this community turn the corner economically.